All right, our first question is from Silverall Training. What are your thoughts on the afterburn effect of exercise, a.k.a. EPOC? Do you really burn a lot more calories after a HIIT workout compared to what one would burn doing, during a low-intensity, steady-state cardio workout? Did I share Did I share the article with you guys? Mm, uh, I think he did. Yeah. I, I did. Didn't I share uh -huh. it on the show? So just like a couple weeks ago, uh, men's <clears throat> I think it was Men's Health. I want, I want to say it's Men's Health that came out with it. Doug can fact check me. They they were hammering uh, Orange Theory about this. In fact, because that was our big selling point. Yeah. Right? yeah. In fact, Orange Theory has changed a lot of their marketing because of that. Which, ironically, if you go back, if you've been listening to Mind Pump long enough, this was the bone that I had to pick with them way back when I was working with them. Was we came in, and of course, just like a, a, a typical company, you start working with them, they have their whole training process. Mm -hmm. And I'm in there with a lot of these like green trainers and they're talking about, you know, Epoch and how amazing it is. And I'm mm -hmm. sitting back there going like, really? Come on, <laughs> dude. We've already, we have, we've already dispelled this. It's not even that, it's not yeah. that big it's, of a it's difference. It's minuscule. No. Yeah, but they, they had built at that time, their entire hype was around these, the benefits of Epoch and like how, yeah. how revolutionary it was. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and so they had they had the first few years that they had came out they had marketed to this quite a bit and they've already redacted a lot of the stuff that they were saying before because of this and Men's Health came out not that long ago oh there it is right there yeah. came out not long ago and was right it was just about a month ago so they came out and they've been hammering them uh, over this and yeah. so yeah the answer is no the epoch is uh, i think it was in the 70s or 80s when it first came out mm -hmm. when they first started doing studies around it it's negligible uh, i mean we're splitting hair difference uh, on the benefits of that and so when you it's, hear people talk about it it makes me chuckle it's based on a false paradigm of fitness and that's the this paradigm that the benefit of exercise is comes from the calorie burn while you do the exercise this is a false paradigm, right? So people think, okay, we learned a long time ago that in order to lose weight, you need to create what's called an energy uh, imbalance. In other words, you take in less calories than you burn or vice versa, right? Burn more calories than you take in. That means your body has to tap into fat in order to make up the difference and you lose weight. And so the paradigm was created that, oh, in that case, let's exercise a lot, burn more calories. That's going to be a very effective strategy for fat loss. It's a terrible strategy, never works for the following reasons. Number one, you don't burn that many calories when you exercise. I don't care how hard you work out. You're going to burn maybe in an hour, 400 calories, 500 calories. And you may think, oh, that's a lot of calories. No, it's mm -hmm. not. Four or 500 calories, you could eat in five, you could drink that in five minutes. It's okay. not much. It doesn't that's make that- That's why it's a losing strategy. It's a losing strategy. So, and, and, and here's the other part. If you're constantly trained to just burn calories, your body does a very good job of adapting, slowing down its metabolism in many different ways, even affecting the rest of your activity throughout the day to balance it out. So what ends up happening is you burn 500 more calories a day. Let's say you work out every single day real hard for an hour. What you find over time is your body actually balances out and you stop yeah. burning those extra calories. Here's the paradigm that you want to focus on, okay? You want to focus on this paradigm. What kind of adaptations is this exercise causing to my body? And then what are those adaptations what do they do for me? What's the benefit? Yeah, what's the carryover? That's it. So if I'm training for endurance, what are the adaptations? Well, I get more efficient with calorie burn, which means you burn less calories. I, I build more stamina. That could be good if I'm an athlete or whatever. Uh, what about resistance training? Lifting weights doesn't burn a ton of calories, but what it does is it, through the process of strength and muscle building, it actually speeds up the metabolism. So Epoch, although it is splitting hairs, like Adam said, doesn't burn that many extra calories. It's built on a false paradigm. So forget your calorie burn during your workout. That is not important at all. Look at what adaptations your exercise. Well, even forget is causing. the after because that that's what it stands for, right? right. It's the it's post workout that they they try and and uh, tout is that oh, right. okay you burn you, more calories. Yeah, yeah. If your body you know would burn on and let's just say for hypothetical reasons it, it was two thousand calories a day. When you do hit training, it burns twenty three hundred calories yeah. in addition to what you burn. And that one, <clears throat> they're inflated numbers and they're and they're false big time. And not to mention too, and we talk about this on the show all the time that no matter what modality of training that you are doing, the body adapts to that. Right. And so any of the- It's the, novel. It's a novel stimulus right. that your body is responding to right away. And yes, there's probably that benefit that you see with an extra amount of calorie burns, but that's a limited window. So your body's going to get very adapted to that and then start you know, slowing down the metabolism as a result. Yeah. So here's the, here's the paradigm you want with exercise. Uh, does this improve my health? Is it improve my fitness? Those are important. And also, is this going to get my body to change in a way that's going to cause my metabolism to speed up 
so that I burn more calories all the time, not requiring an hour of intense exercise. And the, but the form of exercise that does that is traditional resistance training. So if your goal is fat loss or weight loss or maintain a lean body like most people, um, then focus on the adaptation. Don't focus on the calorie burn during or even after the exercise.